Uh, the details on the presentation, I just don't want to go through because the important part of this presentation is just a demo, but this is the huge name that David was mentioning. And the solution architecture was made by my colleague, Denisa, who was also in the call, and she will introduce herself in a minute, and myself. We work together. I love working with her, and I'm trying to drag her into the community. So just, you know, reach out to her. Uh, so this is us. She's a master maker and also an MCT, and I am an MVP and HR solution architect. Denisa, can you say hi? Hello, everyone. Nice to be here and uh, and meet everyone for the first time. Um, yeah, so as Anna said, I'm Denisa. I'm just a technology enthusiast. I just love it when I can build fun stuff in Power Platform. And if the need arises, also speak about it as we do today. Yes. So I honestly, I drag her in. She It was not planned like this, but, you know, she created this with me. So we are sharing it together. So what I would like to share you is um, this user and on how the flow works. I'm happy to discuss it afterwards, but I think that we should spend a lot of time in the we should spend a lot of time in the architecture of the solution, which is the one that follows that we can also share it with you. We will have a start of the process that will be triggered uh, by an email and a document that is coming through an email. Then uh, this will be uh, shared with Power Automate. Uh, we will use AI Builder and ChatGPT, and GPT, sorry, and then we will receive that feedback. It will go through an email because for responsible AI, we do need to have um, approvals. Then there's another background pro process that after the approval will uh, create the record in the app, and then we can consume that record. I know this sounds beautiful, but let's see how this works. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and um, it's I'm going to, I hopefully you can see this email. We're going to trigger the process. And this is uh, an email that I'm sending to Denisa uh, with the subject CV and with the CV attached. So I'm going to send it over and Denisa will take over for a second to show you how the process flow works. And then I will take over again, just to show you how the app works. Denisa, go ahead. Okay, then allow me to share. And let me know when I started sharing. You're sharing. You can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay, so what we have here is the, um, yeah, it's Power Automate. And the way this all the magic starts is when Anna sent me the CV, yeah, and this is what triggers the flow, and we were, are trying to do this live, yeah, as you see, yes, it started. Okay. So, uh, okay, this is the new view. Uh, so, everything starts whenever a candidate sends us an email with a CV attached. Yeah, we have here some conditions. Uh, for example, that um, the email is um, uh, contains CV in, in the title or the email contains an attachment. Yeah, we have here some variables. Um, and then, uh, of course, the first thing we check is to see if the email, the, the attachment is actually a valid attachment. Yeah, so that it's not, for example, uh, a picture in the signature or something. Yeah, and then if it isn't a valid attachment, of course, the, the flow stops. But if it is a valid attachment, then we send it through AI Builder. Um, we also send it through a feedback loop. And this is actually very interesting because it allows us to um, make our model better with the input that we receive. Um, and um, so we, we can save this to AI Builder to further improve the model. Uh, then we send uh, this um, this um, email. Yeah, um, part of responsible AI, as Anna said, is to always check to have a, a real person check if um, um, if this um, is of the right confidence and so on and so forth. Yeah, and then of course we have a duplicate check. Yeah, so it checks first if that entry is already in our system based on on the email address um if it is if it is of course we we get a notification and the flow stops if it isn't it uh 
we go uh, we send it through uh, GPT prompt. This summarizes the whole email. Yeah, the whole body of the email. We have a very funny uh, prompt there to uh, to actually summarize it uh, in a funny way. You will get to see this soon. Yeah, and then uh, we add a new candidate. We upload the CV so that um, the HR person can check the CV, and then um, it's a success. Yeah. So um, I will uh, hand the mic back uh, over to Anna, and she will uh, walk you through the app. Yes. So let's see if I'm sharing my screen. You should see my architecture. Can you tell me, Denisa, if that's yeah yes. accurate? Perfect. Perfect. I will move you to my second screen so I can see your faces. Um, all right. So what I'm going to show you now is just... Uh, not just, but this this app that we have created, the app, it doesn't have a very original name, honestly. But uh, what is quite original, and this, this is Denise's responsibility, is like the scenario we're working with, which is um, Adventures. Ad Adventure, how is the name, Denise? Adventures. Adventures. Yes. Adventures. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the worst with that. So we have our um, candidate. <laughs> Our, our candidates are all superheroes or something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the app and make sure that the CV that I just sent uh, is already added to the list. So you can see here that we have Jessica Jones, which is the email that I sent to Denisa that was summarized and parsed through um, our Power Automate. You can see that we have the record. I'm just going to zoom in. We have like the record, we have the name, the alias. So all of these fields that you're seeing here are extracted on uh, based on the AI model that we just share. We also have the CV that I will show you. So we also do have the attachment that will open here. Um, and the attachment has like a lot of information, like, you know, the complete CV that you may also have. So um, one of the things that we made and we use AI summarization is for this summary that says like, uh, it shows us a little bit of the entire CV and the entire pro uh, pro uh, person and candidate and just gives us like a very tiny description of what this person capabilities are. So you can see here that there's a, they're a real superhero without a cape, without the cape, uh, specialized in private investigation and so on. So this is something generated with um, AI Builder and GPT. And then we do also have like the speciality, the previous company and, you know, some other stuff. We can also add some notes over here. So if we interview the person, we can add some notes. But I would like to share with you before it's too late. Um, we do also... As it's, this is a model driven app, we do also have a copilot and the copilot for consumption in this case, really like it's really good. Here we have just 23 records, 23 records, but you can have, I don't know, 100,000. So that happens with HR or with any other scenario. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with some of the prompts that we have built and tested. So in this case, for example, I need a candidate who speaks several intergalactic languages. So if I prompt this, luckily, I don't know why Copilot is a little bit slow today. Yeah. So this didn't work. Uh, we tested before, but I don't know. Let me refresh and we will see if this works again. And if not, we will move forward to the uh, next question, next prompt. Um, let's see if this one works. Well, this is about the prompt engineering situation, right? So we tried it before today. We tested and it worked, but you know. Um, all right. So here we have. We want to summarize the Tony Stark candidate information. So let's see if it works. And if it doesn't work, just we will continue. And that's it. Um, we are just asking information about the records that are already created. So you can see here that it retrieved a short summary of this person. Uh, a candidate with superhero-like background. He's a CEO. Um, yeah, where does he work? Uh, he has a master in science in electric and electrical engineering from MIT and a bachelor of science in physics and blah, blah, blah. And then we can, you know, 
select here and it will bring us to the record of the person, right? So this is like one of the prompts that we have, but this is this is when we already know uh, when we already know the candidate. What happens when we don't know the candidate and we want to like find out who is the person that should uh, match best the requisitions that we have? And even though this is an HR app, it can work for like identification of proposals or many other scenarios that you can uh, project track or something like that. That could also work. So um, let's see if this one works. Yeah, so we have a, a candidate with PhD in physics and we're going to go here for the record. You can see that Denise had created this record and we have the same. We have the same with the with the summary and all of that. We do also have here the uh, we have here. <laughs> OK, we carried the CV, as you see, with all the information, and this is all created using Power Automate and um, yeah, the this this situation. So I want to I, want, I had another prompt, but I, you know, we are running out of time and I don't want to steal any any presenters time. So this is the architecture that Denise and I created uh, explains a bit. It's not beautiful. It's not like serious architecture, you know, like the ones that you present in a project maybe, but it's like a fun way to see it. Uh, so before leaving, and I don't know if you're, we're okay with time, I would like to say thank you. Uh, you can reach out to us in LinkedIn. Denisa is a new joiner to the community, so I will love if you can reach out to her. And um, yeah, you can find us on LinkedIn and you can find me also in anainesorutia.com. And I hope that was not so so fast, but I, you know, I just feel that we need to move move fast for the presentation. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.